Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Zach, you're watching the Zachary Nabosny YouTube channel. And if you can tell by the title, this video is about my 2021 Ram TRX. Specifically, this video is about the addictive desert designs front bumper that I have on this truck. So let's jump into the video. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm really trying to make the thousand subscriber mark. I greatly appreciate you guys supporting the channel and I greatly appreciate you guys watching this video. I love putting this content out for you guys. Make sure you check out my other videos and stay tuned for the ones to come. So you may or may not know already that this is the Addictive Desert Designs uh, Bomber Front Bumper for the TRX. This is the rigid one because it has uh, four rigid lights in the center and then it also has these rigid uh, fog lights that I use as fog lights here on the sides. Rigid lights just means that's the company that makes the lights. It's Rigid Industries. Um, these front two here that I have installed in the bumper, those are spotlights. So they shoot as far as they possibly can. They don't really spread out as far. And then the two on the outsides of this center here are floodlights. As you could probably imagine, they flood the light across the scenery or wherever you're off-roading at. This way you can see a wider spread of light. And then the fog lights that I have are also floodlights to do the same thing as these on the outer edge. So I think that's probably enough description of the front bumper. Let's just start getting right into it, the things that I like and the things that I don't like about the Addictive Desert Designs Bomber front bumper for the TRX. My hands down favorite thing about this front bumper is the fact that it retains the front parking sensors, as you can see here. So uh, when you're parking or there's an object in front of your truck, obviously the truck will beep the same as a factory bumper. Uh, there's no issue with that at all. And I think that's easily my favorite thing. And I, that's definitely the best thing about this front bumper. Number two, I love the fact that this front bumper retains the factory clearance lights on the sides, the side markers on the side of the front bumper in the factory portion stay with this bumper as well. I like the lights. I like the clearance lights. It really lets you understand just how wide this truck is, especially at night when the lights are all illuminated and you just see you know, like the silhouette of the truck. I think it looks awesome. And I'm really happy that those retain those side lights as well. Now, the reason why I bought this bumper, it's a very simple reason. Uh, the factory bumper at the sand dunes, my very first trip within the first 10 minutes of being on the sand, I collapsed the front skid plate completely by accident. I didn't send the truck too far. I didn't do anything ridiculous with the truck. I just collapsed the front skid plate up and it was dented and you know, once you break factory, you can't replace with factory. So that's why I went with this truck and because of the approach angle that this bumper allows me to gain with this truck. As you can see here from the side profile of the truck, you see the approach angle is pretty significant here. On a factory stock TRX, these tow hooks, these are also, keep in mind, the factory tow hooks um, would stick out in the center of the stock bumper. And on this bumper, it's completely underneath the bumper and the approach angle goes straight down to the front cross member here where the uh, control arm bolts to. Here's another shot here just showing how aggressive this front bumper is and where those tow hooks actually protrude from. You can actually see here in this shot that the whole bumper is pretty much above those tow hooks and then you get a pretty serious angle down to that front cross member. My next favorite thing I just hinted to is the fact that this retains the factory tow hooks. I like the factory tow hooks. I don't wanna go with D-rings or shackles on a front bumper on a TRX. I when I'm clanging around also on my Jeep, I have a tendency to lose the shackles when I'm off-roading, they become loose and then they just fall off the bumper. I like the fact that these are bolted to the frame, they're heavy duty, they're strong, and uh, they were designed to, for the truck, so they'll be strong enough to pull the truck out anytime I need to get the truck out of any situation that I got myself stuck in. Lastly here, my favorite thing is obviously how aggressive the front bumper makes the truck look. You can see the lower control arm so much better. You see them there, you see the bottom ends of the shock. I think that looks awesome. I think the truck makes, I think that makes the truck look super aggressive. Also, I went with the rigid industries over the Baja lights because I like how the four lights kind of line up with this loop here on the front grill. I think that that's like an even width. They do have a bomber front bumper with Baja lights, which I also do love Baja lights, but there's three in the center. And I think it kind of looks a little bit odd there with that loop in the grill. So I like how the four kind of lines up perfectly with that loop right here. I really don't have any dislikes of this front bumper. I did have the paint and the powder coat wear off in a few places that I had to spray paint back over top just to make sure that the paint stays and this way the bumper doesn't start rusting. But I really don't have any arguments against this front bumper. I don't have any problems with it. I think the fit and finish is very clean. I think it was very easy to install. I should have done an install video for you guys, but I didn't do it. Um, but 
but the install was simplistic. I did it with, with my dad and we didn't have any issues. We didn't run into anything that was alarming from the company or anything like that. They were very easy to work with, uh, very easy to place the order with. And I appreciate uh, them working with me because I called and asked a lot of questions before I purchased it. Because I think that, you know, when you're buying a bumper for any vehicle, you want to make sure that it fits perfectly and there's no issues with it. And you also just don't want to buy junk, especially when you're buying it for a TRX. All right, guys, that does it for this video. It's short, it's quick. I really just wanted to come and explain to you guys why you needed an addictive desert designs front bumper for your TRX. You can't crush your skid plate up because right underneath your skid plate is your engine oil cooler. If you crush your engine oil cooler, you'll start losing oil, your engine will seize up, and then you'll be stuck off-roading wherever you are. All right, guys, very hard transition here to nighttime. Uh, as I was editing this video, I thought, I should definitely show you guys what the rigid lights look like at night. This way you can see just how bright they are. And if you're willing or interested in purchasing this front bumper or these lights, you at least have uh, some sense of how bright they really are. And they also have a daytime running light feature that I think is really cool. It's a lot easier to see at night. So definitely a little bit better for me to show you this at night. Sorry for the hard transition, but let me turn this, this camera around so you guys can see uh, what this truck looks like all lit up. All right, guys, so pretty obvious here. I do have the headlights turned off on this truck. These are just the factory daytime running light headlights with the factory hood scoop lights. And then the clearance lights, like I told you, are still inside this bumper. Right now, I have the two rigid industry pod lights, the pod lights that I would use as fog lights. They're actually wired into my fog light button in the truck. So when I press the fog light button, these are actually what turns on. So this is what, uh, like I said, they are a flood light pattern fog light. So this is what the... The pattern looks like on the road, you can see it's pretty down low, which is exactly what you want out of a fog light. And it's pretty widespread, which is what I was interested in. Interested in. Uh, always on the lookout for deer. So let me turn the headlights on with this so you can see what that looks like. And bam, there's the headlights. They're on now with the fog lights. Let me show you what that pattern looks like. A lot brighter. Now I will show you what the daytime running light feature looks like on these rigid uh, six inch lights in three, two, one and bam there's that that looks awesome i usually drive around with that because it gives off no light illumination it doesn't really blind anybody it just illuminates it and i think it, i think it makes it look a lot more aggressive from the front end like that now i will turn off the headlights just back to the daytime running light this way you can see what this actually looks like it'll probably make it a little bit too a little bit less intense for the camera to pick up like i said there they are they look really cool you can see there's just uh four lights in each corner for these I'm sorry, one light in each corner for those. And like I said, no light illumination. And for the grand finale, let me flip the camera around and show you what it looks like with these rigid lights turned on. Look how crazy bright these lights are. They are beaming. Now look at this light pattern here. Now I'm gonna hop inside the truck, turn them on and off, uh, just so you can see a little bit different side by side to what they look like. When I did install these lights, I hooked up the daytime running light to auxiliary number one, since the TRX has auxiliary switches. And then the actual beam activation is turned on by auxiliary number two. So let me show you what that looks like. The TRX makes it very simple with these auxiliary switches. You have six of them. One is just the daytime running light feature and number two is the beam turned on and off. And guys, now I blew the fuse to the big spotlights, the six inch lights. So. I'm unable to show you that on and off difference at this point in time. I will show you in a later date. Let me know in the comments if you definitely want to see that. I can't show it. At least you guys saw the, the lighting across the road. I, I told you it was very bright and it illuminates it very well. Um, I'm sorry for that, but if you guys did stay this long in the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I love making these videos and I love the, the feedback that I get. I appreciate all of you for watching this video. So, you know, drop a like, drop a comment, share this video, and please consider subscribing to the channel. I really want to hit that thousand subscriber mark by the end of February. So any help that I can get is greatly, greatly appreciated. Have a good night, guys. Peace.